Hey guys, so I saw this 13 questions tag and I thought it looked fun, so I thought I'd just jump into it. The first question is, what do you order at Starbucks? Okay, I instantly think of two answers for this. For a cold drink, I'll order a double chocolatey chip frappuccino, which is my favorite drink ever, I think. It's so good. It's just, if you like chocolate, go for that, because they have like little chocolate chunks in it with the chocolate coffee. Oh man, it is so good. You guys gotta try that if you haven't already. And for a hot drink, I'd say a vanilla latte. I'm pretty... I don't know, I like the classic kind of coffee drinks when it comes to hot drinks. Question number two, what's the one thing in your closet you cannot live without? I'd say currently the one thing I cannot live without that's in my closet would be my military boots, which I got from the Britney Spears clothing line from Kohl's, the candies collection. And they're just, they've been in like a ton of my videos on my beauty channel. If you guys see my beauty channel, you'll probably see those boots in like every video because I just love them so much. I wear them every day. Like those are my shoes lately. Question number three, what's the one thing most people probably don't know about you? Uh, let's see. I was adopted at like five weeks and I also have a brother and he was adopted at five weeks, but he's two years older than me. So yeah, and I'm part Puerto Rican and white like I'm like a mix of you know like German and Scottish and whatnot let's see number four name the one thing you want to do before you die well I have a lot of things I would love to do before I die so I cannot name just one thing the first thing I'd like to do honestly is travel the whole world that's like been my dream ever since I was a small kid like I would love to go everywhere Everywhere in the world I want to go. I also have so many dreams that I I feel like I have to reach my dreams before I die. Like, because I feel like if I don't go after my dreams, I feel like I'm going to explode or something. Like, I don't know. There's, It's just this drive you have in yourself that you have to achieve. You know what I mean? So, I mean, one of the dreams I have is I love writing. I would love to be a published author. Um, now. <laughs> I love writing. Like, that is what I do a lot. Um, I actually have like a trilogy I'm working on that I am so excited about. I think like that'll probably be the one work that might get published one day out of all the stuff that I'm writing. Like, I have so many screenplays I'm writing. I also like to write music, um, which I haven't done in a while, but I do like to write songs. And my husband actually is in a band called Mother Star. And I know he could help me out with writing music and recording because he's, I mean, that's what he does. Like, um, and if you guys check out on my beauty channel, the Taylor Momsen video or my messy rocker hair video, his band's music is on those videos. So I'll put those down below so you guys can check out their music and I'll put their channel link down below as well. There's one thing I would really like to do and I know this might sound really weird and it's just kind of sums up the question because uh, I've kind of been going all over the place, but one thing I would really like to do before I die is I would love to leave behind like a box just filled with some photos, some letters to people that have been a part of my life, have been in my life. And one of the things that might sound really weird that I'd like to put in this box is like a final video. Like I love to make videos um, and I would love to just leave behind like a final message. I wish I could say right now, but I'm saving what I really want to say for that video. I know that sounds so weird, but I'm thinking about if I were to get in a car wreck on my way to work later today or something, I would like to leave behind something, you know, for my friends and my family and everybody. So yeah, that's something I'd like to do is just like have a box filled with like pictures and messages and stuff like that. Okay, question number five. What's one food you cannot live without? Soup. I love soup. I will eat soup every day. Like, my favorite soup actually is probably hot and sour soup right now. Love hot and sour soup. I also love baked potato soup, broccoli cheddar, um, black bean soup. I love um, miso soup. I love miso soup. Okay, question number six. What quote or phrase do you live by? I would say the first thing I think about is... Uh, a quote or a phrase by Michael Jackson, which is, he was my favorite musician of all time. Like, he still is. Like, I just, I love Michael Jackson. And I heard his, I, I've heard him say before, I think it was some interview, 
sometime, I don't know where I heard it, but I remember hearing his voice saying along the lines of we should always strive for perfection. And that just stuck with me. Like with everything I do now, whether I'm at work, whether I'm making videos or I mean anything that I'm doing, I have that kind of in the back of my mind to strive for perfection because when you look back on it, you're really you can be proud about what you what you've accomplished or what you've done. And I think it's also great for work because I think you should always be your best at work. But yeah, I just, that's just stuck out to me before. And I really, I don't know, I just really like that quote. And that's the one quote that I actually do think about um, quite a lot. So I guess that would be one that I do kind of live by, I guess. Question number seven, what do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? Okay, the first thing that I love, the feeling I get when I'm uploading a video, I swear, it's like an adrenaline rush. Like, like when I'm uploading a video, I am so excited and happy and I just get this feeling of I can't wait till it's uploaded kind of thing. I know that sounds so dorky and so weird, but I just love the feeling of watching my video just slowly like uploading and when it's processing, I'm just like like I can't I don't know, I just love that feeling. I know that sounds really weird. But I also love when the video is uploaded and people right away will start like commenting or liking it or disliking it or, or whatever. I just love the interaction you get from people from all over the world. Like it is incredible that you can upload a video onto the internet and anyone anywhere can see it. Like I think that's pretty cool. So yeah. The thing I would dislike about it is of course people that are just flat out rude. I don't see any point in rudeness. Like that's like something that's just that's just so low to me that I don't even I don't even like to acknowledge it really. I don't think there's any reason for anybody to be rude to another person at all. I just can't stand rudeness and that's like not just in the YouTube community, that's like in everyday life. So moving on, question number eight, what's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? And the first thing that pops in my head is Alyssa Shouse and I love that girl. I love, love, love her. I love her voice. I think she's so talented and she was a YouTube or she still is, I mean, a YouTube musician, but she got found by Jason Derulo, and she's now signed. So I just, like, I've been watching her for a while, and even, you know, before she was signed, like, I thought, this girl's got it. I can't wait to see how far she goes. And now look, I mean, the song that <laughs> I've been listening to on iTunes is called Overnight Celebrity, and I'll list it down below, and the video is so cute. Like, I'll try to list that down below as well, or, you know, just list the video down below or something, but I I love that video. They did such a good job on it, and I just love Alyssa Shouse. I think she's so cool. She plays the guitar. She's like 15 years old or something, and yeah, I just, I love her. She's amazing. Okay, number nine. What kind of style would you describe yourself as having? I would say, okay, I would say rocker chic because I love the style of like Taylor Momsen and Miley Cyrus and like Mary Kate Olsen. I love that kind of look. I also love like, this might sound really weird, but I've also looked at pictures of like Johnny Depp or Russell Brand and I've tried to like mimic their style but in a more feminine way, I guess. So I do like that rocker edge kind of look, but I also like more of a chic look. So I love like scarves. I love like this blazer I have on right now. I think it's more like a chic kind of thing. It's got like some detail on the shoulders and whatnot. But I also have on this Beatles t-shirt from Abbey Road. So I do have like more of a rocker kind of vibe, I think, and I have like, you know, feathered stuff and I love like big rings and whatnot. So I would say more of like a rocker chic kind of thing. I guess that that's what I would best describe my look as. Number 10, what's your favorite number? 21. I don't know why, it just is. I wish I could stay 21 forever and Forever 21 is actually like my favorite store. I love 21, I don't know why. I, when I turned 22, this sounds so weird, but I was like, I don't want to turn 22. I want to stay 21 forever. Number 11, name two hobbies. Okay, the first thing I think of is yoga, and I actually have a yoga DVD. I try to do five days a week, but I slouch on that, of course. It is the Julian Michaels yoga DVD. Oh my goodness, I love just how fierce she is, like how 
uh, I think I need that when I work out. I think I need somebody to be hard on me and be like, you need to work out. Like she is crazy. She's crazy, but I love it. So, and the yoga is more of like a cardio style yoga. So you're like moving in these poses and then you have to stick them, which is like holding the pose for like 15 seconds, which is the hardest thing. Ugh. But there's like level one and level two on this DVD. And I'll try, I'll link that DVD down below too if you guys want to check it out. I absolutely love it. Like it is, it is fun, it's challenging, and you have, you're working out with Jillian Michaels. So I, I don't know, it's kind of fun. And the other hobby I would say is what I mentioned before, which is writing. I love writing. Um, I write every day, like whether it's just writing lists or writing, you know, stories, um, book ideas, screenplay ideas, a song idea, or whatever. I love writing. That's like, I am a writer. Number 12, name two pet peeves. Okay, this is another thing I kind of already mentioned, which is like just people that like to be negative. Like that is a big pet peeve of mine. Like I can't stand to be around somebody that's like, Okay, I'll try to think of an example. Like the other day at work, one of my coworkers said, today's going to be the worst day. Today's going to be awful. He said something along those lines, and I just went like, really? Like, <laughs> I just think the way you think about things really does weigh on the outcome of your day or the way you um, go about certain things in your life. Like, if that guy really thinks he's going to have a bad day, he's going to have a bad day. Like, that's just kind of what I think about it. Like, if you start to have a bad day and you realize it, you got to try to, like, change your thought process a little bit. you got to think of things that make you happy. Why are you, why are you in a bad mood? Why are you, you know, why are you in this funk? And try to get yourself out of it as quickly as possible because I don't want to waste one moment in this life being negative. I'm sorry, but... I like to be happy. I am happy. I like to be positive. I I like to I love my life. I don't want to spend time being angry or hateful or negative. So when negative people start in, I'm just like tuning out. <laughs> For the other pet peeve I probably have would probably be nosy people. Like that might sound kind of weird, but I like to edit my videos. Um I'll, I'll take my laptop with me anywhere and I'll edit my videos wherever I am. And I don't like it when people look over my shoulder at what I'm doing. Like I know it looks weird when I'm editing me talking or, you know, doing a video tutorial or something. I know that might look like I'm stuck up, it might look like I'm whatever, but I'm not. Like I'm just trying to show you guys how to do something. But especially like if I'm on my lunch break at work, I'll have my laptop at work and I'll start editing and I'm like in a corner of a room. And I've had a couple people come around me in my corner and like look over at me. And I'm like, do you really have to do that? Do you really have to look at what I'm looking at? Like, I just think that's kind of bizarre. The last question I have, which is number 13, Name a guilty pleasure. Okay. Oh gosh, I feel weird saying, okay. I will go to work and I will play this music loud and I will belt out this music. I don't care, I don't care. I love Miley Cyrus's music a lot. The song I've been listening to a lot lately is Every Rose Has Its Thorn, which was Brett Michaels, you know, Poisons song which she redid but I I will listen to that a lot. I love Miley Cyrus. Like I I love her. Like and I saw her on Oprah performing with Joan Jett. Oh my god. Like I love Joan Jett. Joan Jett is one of the top chicks up here. Up here. So when she performed with Miley who is also like up here to me. Whew, yeah. I just had the best day ever watching that. I love her last album. I also have listened to um, her first album. I've also listened to some Hannah Montana songs. Yeah. My favorite song from Miley is actually from the Hannah Montana soundtrack, I believe, which is the song right here. And I'll put that link down below so you guys can check it out. Yeah, so I love Miley Cyrus. But yeah, guys, that is the last question for this tag video. I hope you guys liked watching this video. I hope you guys Kind of got to know me a little bit better now. And yeah, if you haven't checked out my beauty channel, 
go check it out. I'll put it in the link below. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, um, you should. But yeah, guys, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!